just adjustments. <laughs> so I'm creepily staring at the at the screen. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh, that's funny. There we go. Ta da! These leggings. They might be a little dark. We'll make it work. So, we got a couple minutes before we get started. Um, some fun announcements, all of these um, Facebook Live classes and the workshops are now uploaded onto our YouTube channel, so you should be able to find them. It's exactly what you're going to see um, through all the Facebook Live classes, <laughs> so it might be a little weird. Uh, but So if you go to our YouTube channel, Align Yoga, you'll be able to find all of these later on if you want to redo a class or if you missed a class. I just felt it would be easier to find them versus having to scroll through all the posts or try to find the videos. Um, so there's that. The next um, announcement is the next workshop is going to be on April 8th. And it's going to be Yoga Nidra. So we're going to do like a little info session about what meditation is, what Yoga Nidra is, and then we will do probably like a 30 minute meditation. So for that class, you're gonna want um, a blanket, pillow, comfortable clothes. There's really not gonna be a lot of movement, more discussion based, more meditation based. Um, I keep eye on the time. Let's see. Am I missing anything? I don't, you know, I was wondering that too. So these leggings might be a little dark. In real life, they feel brighter. <laughs> In real life. Okay, so we will get started. Tonight's class is a vinyasa flow class. Ooh, lots of words there. Does anyone else feel like they don't know what day, what time? like Twilight Zone-ish with this whole quarantine thing because I think we had multiple conversations today about like, we're going to do something on Friday, not realizing it's only like Thursday or Wednesday or whatever day it was. Oh my. Okay. So I digress. It's going to be a vinyasa flow class. This is going to be a get your heart rate up. So hopefully we get the blood flowing, the heart pumping, maybe build a little bit of sweat. Maybe, possibly. Um... <laughs> I know our family like my family was not meant for quarantine like we are busy bodies we are planners we are do all the things so my family might not make it through this quarantine <laughs> Sean living his best life right now um cracks me up so oh goodness I got another tangent I'm sorry guys this might be one of those classes where I have a lot of tangents um so before we start I will go through our options again for the chaturangas for the flows because this is a vinyasa class. Right. So making your way onto your mats, your first option is to always skip. So coming into your high plank, engage the core. Don't let your butt start going into down dog. Try to keep a nice straight line. Hold here for a moment. Lift all the way up to a downward facing dog. Your next option is our modification. So come down to the knees, untuck the toes, and you're coming down from plank. So be careful not to shift back to a tabletop because then you're going to lose the core engagement and you're going to lose that arm activation there, building that strength. So you want to be at a slight incline from your plank. Elbows stay glued in. Go all the way down. Roll the shoulders back, lift the head and chest, lower down, tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing dog. 
And then the last option is coming straight from plank. This is the full chaturanga. So we're coming into our high plank, same as before, leaving the knees lifted, elbows bend, coming down halfway, pause, inhale into an up dog, pause. Your thighs can come down to the floor. Some people like to keep them lifted. It just depends on your preference. Tuck the back toes, sit up and back, downward facing dog. So those will be our three options for tonight's class. And we will get started in Savasana, so we'll make our way laying down. Closing the eyes, palms face up. Taking a nice deep inhale. And full complete exhale. Just taking a moment and just let the mat or the floor just completely support you. Start to relax the shoulders down, maybe the feet flop open. Closing the eyes if that's comfortable. And we'll bring both knees in and just rock from side to side. From here, we'll bring both knees over to the left, finding a supine twist. Gaze is going to be wherever is comfortable for your neck. Maybe up to the ceiling, up to the right arm. Coming back to center, bring both feet flat onto the mat, reach the fingertips towards the heels, and lift the hips, finding a bridge pose. Here you really want to activate the glutes because that's going to help you be able to lift up just a little bit higher, and it's also going to protect the low back. Lower down, bring knees into chest. Rock from side to side. And then we're going to tip both knees over to the right. Supine twist. Again, gazes wherever is comfortable for your neck. Come back to center. Rock from side to side one more time. Legs come out nice and long. Arms come out overhead. Nice big full body stretch. Staying on your back, bring your feet over to the lower right corner. And then bring your arms up and over to the upper right corner. You should get a nice stretch in that rib cage. Back to center, take it over to the other side. Okay. 
and come back to center. Bring knees into chest. And then we'll make our way into a tabletop. Coming into hands and knees. Inhale, drops the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, first. Inhale, drops the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, first. Come back to center. From tabletop, right foot comes forward, arms come up, low lift. Exhale, hands come down, step back, tabletop. Inhale, drops the belly, lifts the gaze. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Come back to center, left foot steps forward, find that low lunge, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands down, right back to that tabletop. Inhale, drops the belly, lifts the gaze. Exhale, first. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing dog. So take a moment to pedal up the feet here. Maybe you shake that head yes and no. And we'll find some stillness and we're going to get funky. So we're going to shift over, put all the weight or as much as you can on the right hand. And then slide your left hand back so it's about halfway-ish between like you and your hand. So it's going to be a little bit of a balance. Stay here or lift your right leg up. Breathing here, don't hold your breath, engage the core. Right leg comes down, left hand comes forward. Step the right leg forward, find that low lunge again. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands come down. Step back, high plank. Moving through your flow, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, lowers. Tuck the toes. Sit up and back, downward facing dog. Same thing, shift over to that left hand, right hand goes back about halfway. Holding here or lifting that left leg nice and high. Continuing to breathe. Left leg comes down, slide that hand forward. Low lunge, left side, inhale arms. Exhale down, tuck the back toe, high plank, move through your float, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale lower, tuck the toes, sit up and back. Looking up at the top of the mat, step forward, find a forward fold. Let the head hang nice and heavy, weight in the toes. So for vinyasa float classes, I typically... I will do the modification where I come down to the knees because that's what most people do. And then it's also a good physical reference in case anyone kind of forgets what the sequence is. So if you prefer to do a full chaturanga, feel free to take that at any time. I'll just be demoing um, the modification for this class. From here, inhale, lift right into chair pose. Weight is in the heels. Sit nice and low. Try to have the chest lifted. A lot of people like to kind of let their chest rest on their thighs. Try to keep it lifted. Exhale, airplane arms. Lean forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, lift. One more time. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, lift. Holding here. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands. Move through that flow. Downward facing dog. Taking your time. There's no need to rush. Tuck the toes. Sit up. Inhale. 
Right foot steps forward. Lower the back foot at a slight angle so your heels should be on the ground. Inhale, lift up into warrior one. So for warrior one, think about you want your hips facing the front of your mat. And widen your stance if you need to. A lot of people need to widen their stance so it's more comfortable. Exhale, hands come down. Step back and up. Left foot steps forward. Find that warrior one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Move through that flow. Downward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back. Lift up. Exhale, lowers. Tuck the toes. Sit up and back. Down dog. Looking up. Step forward, forward fold. Remember that all um, chaturangas are optional. Inhale right into chair pose. Sit nice and low. Exhale fold. Inhale chair pose. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, chair pose. Hold here. Sit a little bit lower. Right arm goes back. Open arm twist. Don't lose. Don't lose your seat. Try not to stand up. Back to center. Left arm goes back. Sit low. Come back to center. Hold here. If you're feeling a burn, if you're getting shaky, awesome. Hold it a little bit more. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, high plank. Move through your flow, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Sit up and back. Right foot steps forward. Find that warrior one again. So your back heels at a slight angle. Arms come up over. Turn the back heel. We're going to find a warrior three. So I like to do this with hands at heart center. You can have your hands up, or you can even bring them at the side. And we're just going to tip forward onto that right leg. Make sure there is a slight bend in that standing leg. Your back foot is nice and flex. Play around with the arm. Also make sure that your left hip's not popping up. We want a nice flat back. Talking and balancing. Not my forte. Step back. Find a warrior two. Flip the front palm reverse. Cartwheel the hands down. Go through your flow. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale lower. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. I'm going to rotate. The left foot steps forward. Inhale up, warrior one. Huh? You made me pull that and you stuck. Because <laughs> I rotated? Or because I can't talk and balance at the same time? <laughs> you guys, it's really tricky. <laughs> Turn the back, heels. And we're going to find that warrior through. So coming forward. Again, play around with the hands, heart center, behind. Step back, warrior two, open up. Flip the front palm, reverse. Cartwheel the hands down. Move through that flow, downward facing back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes. Sit up and back, down dog. From here, find a child's pose. Come down to the knees, and we'll sink down for just a moment. Rotating again. 
Taking a nice deep inhale. Full, complete exhale. One more nice deep inhale. And full, complete exhale. We'll take two more breaths. And then make our way into a downward facing dog. Sitting up and back. Right leg goes nice and high. Exhale, bring that knee all the way to the right elbow. Try to leave the foot off the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee all the way over to the left. Keep the foot off the mat. Inhale, lift. One more round. Inhale. Exhale, knee to the right. Back up. Knee to nose. Try to move nice and slow here. Inhale, back up. Knee all the way over to the left. Inhale, back up. Step it through, right into a warrior two. Holding here. Coming into a dancing warrior. Inhale, lifts everything up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, lowers. Inhale, lifts. And then exhale back to warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse. Lean it back. Inhale, comes all the way up. Toes point towards the edges. Hands come onto hips, a little back bend. Exhale, straddle forward, fold. Let the head be nice and heavy here. Left hand stays down. Right arm lifts, finding a twist. Come back to center. Left arm lifts. Come back to center. Inhale, comes all the way up. Right back to that warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down. Move through your flow. Downward facing up. Inhale. Exhale, lowers. Tuck the toes. Sit up and back. Downward facing up. Taking it all over <laughs> to the other side. Left leg's gonna go nice and high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lifts. Knee to nose. Inhale. Knee all the way over to the right. Inhale. One more round. Do you got this? Knee to left elbow. Inhale, lifts. Keep the movement nice and slow. Knee to nose. Inhale, lifts. Knee all the way over to the right. Inhale, lifts. Step forward, warrior two. Exhale, lowers. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, lowers. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Flip the front palm, reverse. Inhale, lifts. Toes point out. Take a little back bend. Exhale, straddle, forward fold. Coming all the way down. From here, walk your hands over to that right ankle. Finding a nice little stretch. Coming back to center, taking it over to the other side. And coming back to center. And now let's left toes point out, warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down, last flow of the class, 
downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, lowers. Tuck the toes. Sit up and back. Down dog. Coming down to the knees. And we'll find a child's pose. Sitting back. Maybe you rock the forehead from side to side. From here, we'll bring the hands to the upper left corner. Just taking a nice little stretch. back to center and we'll take it over to the other side and we'll come back to center Making our way into tabletop. Inhale, drops the belly. Exhale, curl. Inhale, drops the belly. Exhale, curl. Inhale, drops the belly. Come back to center. Right arm goes nice and high. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring it all the way down. Center. Left arm goes nice and high. Exhale, thread the needle. And come back to center. Inhale, drop the belly, lift it again. Exhale, curl. Inhale. And exhale. One more round. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. We'll make our way onto our backs with knees and a chest. And just rocking from side to side. Bring both knees over to the left, finding a supine twist. Come back to center. Bring both feet down, reach the fingertips towards the heels, lift the hips, find a bridge pose. Slowly lower down, bring knees into chest. And both knees over to the right, supine twist. Coming back to center, we'll find a happy baby. So grabbing the pinky edges of the feet, pull the knees down towards the armpits. 
So we have some options here. So you can hold on to the feet. You can hold on to the ankle. Hands can come behind the knees. Uh, you could also bend the knees and take like a supine child's pose. So holding on to the shins, but just bringing those knees towards the armpits so you still get that nice hip stretch. back in, legs go out nice and long, arms overhead, bring the hands and feet over to those right corners again like we did at the beginning of class. Come back to center and take it over to the other side. and come back to center. I have a couple options. If you'd like to take a reclined butterfly, so bottoms of the feet to tuck knees up nice and wide, you can. If you'd like to come right into Savasana, that's also an option. Or our last option will be leg up, legs up the wall. So if you're not near a good space, you can just bring your feet straight up. Or find a spot and bring those legs if you're against a wall, make sure that you can get your bottom as close to the wall as possible. If you're on a harder wood floor and you can't bring your mat or you don't have your mat with you today, you can always put a blanket underneath just to support the, the back and um, the hips. And we'll just take a moment and close the eyes here. Nice deep inhales and full complete exhales. Closing the eyes if that's comfortable wherever you're at. And we'll take three more breaths here. And I invite you to stay wherever you're at. So if that's legs up the wall, in that reclined butterfly, or maybe you already made it to your savasana. And that will be our ending pose. I'm gonna end class with just a little meditation. Um, it's from this book called Soul to Soul. It's just a compilation of poems, prayers, and stories um, to end a yoga class. And so just kind of keeping with the theme of kindness, we'll end with a meditation on kindness by Charlotte Hazel. So you can imagine this or remember to do it when you are in a crowd. When you are in a crowd, look around at all the different people. Notice their clothes, faces, and hair sizes. Look at their gestures and movements, noticing if they are loose, stiff, or free. Just take it in, without judgment, as if you were looking at a garden of people. Then see them all as energy fields, the same as you, just energy. As you continue watching, think to yourself, every person here has had to live every day of their lives just like me. They've had to get up every day, decide what to wear, face loss, success, hurt, and shame, just like me. Everyone fell down while learning to walk. Everyone probably felt anxious the first time they kissed, just like me. 
Each person has a story to tell. Some of the chapters are, her are heroic. Some of them are about loss. Some about fear. Some about achievement or joy. Just like my story. When you say goodbye to someone or decide not to see them again, remember you are a moment in their story. Make it a story that doesn't leave a scar. And we're gonna take the next couple minutes to just relax and be. You have absolutely nothing to do, nowhere to go, except right here, completely relax. So as always, we'll end class right where you are. There's absolutely no rush. Please feel free to stay here as long as you need. Um, thank you again for making the time to hang out with me, to practice, to make time for yourself. It's so important. Um, one reminder, the Sunday class is going to be a sculpt class. So that will be with hand weights. So you'll need two sets if you have them. Um, a heavier set and then a lighter set and it'll probably be about 30 minutes kind of more of an intro class just to see you know what you guys think if you like it um, it was originally going to be on the schedule for Mar starting in March so vinyasa it's going to be a vinyasa flow plus the hand weights and a little cardio burst so I think it'll be good I think you guys will like it um, as always this is donation based any Facebook live class or workshop Thanks again, guys, and I will see you Sunday morning at 10.